Hi, I'm Maren Bay Campbell and you're watching the weekly hip-hop newscast. Firstly, I really want to apologise for no newscast last week. Both me and Letitia SD were uh, queuing overnight to buy our copies of Curtis and Graduation. The two big commercial stories this week are both not surprisingly about the man of the moment, Kanye West. And they're both fairly intertwined. First off, barring a miracle or a G-Unit album Bonanza buyout, 50 Cent is going to lose the SoundScan sales battle with Kanye's graduation by almost double. Even with LL Cool J boasting that he bought 10 copies of Curtis and that all New Yorkers should support their own. Now 50 blames Interscope for his lack of sales, saying, They're dropping the ball all over the place. I'll release my next album and then I'm a free agent. So guess he's not honouring the bet to retire if losing to Kanye? Kanye was up for five 2007 MTV Video Music Awards last weekend. And let's face it, his recent big budget videos have been incredible. After his MTV Europe Music Video Awards stage crashing in Denmark, you'd have thought this was his big night. But once again, Kanye West walked away from an MTV Awards empty-handed. Check this candid backstage clip as Kanye vows never to work with MTV again. MTV, tell them what the fuck I said. Y'all had these lights, man. Five nominations. I lost the Black Eyed Peas last year, man. I'm never coming to MTV. Y'all find Britney. Get Britney. Get a real fucking artist. Get Britney Spears. Man, that's two years in a row, man. Get off this man. I love this nigga, but man, goddamn, man. Give me a chance, man. Give a black man a chance. I'm trying hard, man. I got the number one record, man. I'm trying, man. I don't give a chance, man. This tantrum was upstaged by an apparent Kid Rock and Tommy Lee scuffle over Pamela Anderson during Alicia Keys' performance. Stop all of this white on white crime right now. Tommy Lee and Kid Rock fighting like black folks. It's hilarious. Who won? I was in the bathroom. Who won the fight? Then Tommy Lee slept. Now, Pamela Anderson has got a hard choice to make. Well, I'm supposed to be up here with my man Kid Rock, but um, you know, we gotta stop the violence in rock and roll. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not just the hip hop artists that sometimes have problems. You know, rock and roll artists y'all have fights sometimes too. One punch was thrown and a few chairs were tossed by security as the pair of gangster rockers were held back by uh, one guy each. Damn those rock thugs. Kanye continued aggressively with his promotions of graduation and bad-mouthing of MTV, appearing on countless radio and TV shows, including The Jimmy Kimmel Show, where follow-up guest comedian Jeff Garland took a pop at him. I mean, it's tragic, you know, which I guess you win some, you lose some, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but now he has to retire. I mean, unless he demands a recount or something, he's got to retire. It's I'm the law. Yeah, when he said, I think that might have just been entertainment, or he didn't realize that I made the best album of my life, or, you know, <laughs> that my album has sold the most albums since my last album. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hold on, let me get a pencil. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's so many people at MTV that I love, like, kinda, and I just like, feel like it's just like in the movies when you just feel like betrayed. It's like, I don't want to be the bad guy. I don't want to be at war with MTV and everything. But it's, and, um, I mean, it's a good week, though. I mean, it's a bad week um, for that other guy, but uh, it's a good... <laughs> now, look, I know I was up for some comedy awards and uh, I made a little bit of an ass of myself. But, you know, those people at Comedy Central, they're my friends. And my wife, my kids, they don't mean to me. And I'm going to tell you something. Entertainment Weekly gave my movie last week a B. Did they? And you know what? They don't know <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Entertainment. What the f was he talking about? Why am I in show business? Why are like, you dressed like that? Because he was. I was imitating him. I don't get it. If you want to get a point across, take off your sunglasses. And I worked with him. I dig the guy. He's you really guys nice work guy. together. Yeah. I was on his pilot. He's a really good guy. I know what he's saying, though, because he gets... You don't no, what I do, saying. I know exactly what he's you're saying. You're lying, you're covering. I can't even get this off. I just wear it like this. <laughs> just leave it like right like that. No, I can't. That's even. a better way to look right there. After his career just survived one of the biggest ever hip-hop beefs, Ja Rule's latest battle looks like it's going to be with homosexuals.
In this month's Complex magazine, Ja Rule says MGM, Paramount, MTV and Viacom should be discussed in Congress for promoting homosexuality rather than rappers for negative lyrics. He said, that's what's tearing up America, not me calling a woman a bitch or a hoe on my rap songs. On Thursday, the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation issued a press release suggesting a Ja Rule media ban. Early Tuesday morning, Trick Daddy was arrested after being thrown out of Tootsie's Cabaret strip club in Miami for fighting. Apparently drunk and with his face cut up, Trick Daddy was charged with disorderly intoxication and resisting arrest. Escobar season has returned. The Bill O'Reilly war with Nas is heating up as Nas and Fox News' O'Reilly take public shots at each other. After Mr O'Reilly called for Nas to be cut from the concert for Virginia Tech, Nas labelled him a racist on MTV News and at the VT concert dedicated Hate Me Now to Bill O'Reilly. O'Reilly responded on his show, childishly exaggerating the incorrect pronunciation of Nas as he updated viewers to his show. See what you make of this. Time now for the most ridiculous item of the day. The concert at Virginia Tech went off as planned last night, and the vile rapper Naz dedicated this song to me. Excellent. Now, you may remember I criticized Virginia Tech President Charles Steger for allowing a performer who traffics in blatant violence like Naz to appear at a concert which is supposed to soothe students affected by the mass murder last April. The whole thing is beyond ridiculous. Steger must be very proud of himself. By the way, Naz told MTV, quote, everybody has a marketing plan. O'Reilly's marketing plan is racism. Now for the speedy updates and bites. Uh, the imprisoned Foxy Brown is not pregnant. Remy Ma's attempted murder charges have been dropped to assault, even though she allegedly had her people rough up the boyfriend of a witness. 50 Cent and Little Kim are being sued for unpaid royalties on Magic Stick. And rap legend Grandmaster Flash is to offer up memoirs when dropping a new joint book and CD next year. It is officially award season. September 7th was the BMI Urban Awards. After a rather shambolic display in 2006, the Music of Black Origin Awards in the UK returns on September 19th with highlight appearances from Amy Winehouse and 50 Cent. October 17th is the BET Stroke TI Awards in Atlanta, which also includes a Hustler of the Year Award. November 3rd is the Kickers Urban Music Awards and we'd like to apologise for any awards we didn't mention. Last week, DMC announced a new positive hip-hop awards show called the Jam Awards, taking place on November 9th in New York. Organised by the Jam Master J Foundation for Music, the Jam Awards will honour one contributor from the hip-hop community in the fields of justice, the arts and music. This all stems from the recent negative media publicity clouding hip-hop. DMC says hip-hop is more powerful than politics and religion, and that Run DMC epitomised hip-hop responsibility. DMC will co-host the event with Jam Master Jay's widow, Terry Corley Mazel. There are tons of exciting reports circulating that Eminem is in the studio working on a new album. M called in the Hot 97 Angie Martinez show on Tuesday to congratulate 50's Curtis release and said he was still debating whether or not he'd ever release another album. The only real UK drama production with any hip-hop element, dub plate drama, is airing a second series on Channel 4 launching this Wednesday night. The show is mostly made up of cameo appearances from grime artists and Channel U stars with the odd credible hip-hop artist stroke celebrity like N-Dubs, Asha D, Tim Westwood, Ghetto, SAS, Craze24 and narrated by Rodney P. And finally, the 2007 World Rap Championships kicks off this week on jumpoff.tv. The $50,000 eight city tournament will see 48 teams in Atlanta, Detroit, Houston, London, Los Angeles, Melbourne, New York and Toronto in a battle of lyrics over 13 weeks for the prestigious title. Last year's champions, the Saurus and Immaculate are returning in Los Angeles division going for a repeat. You can keep up to date daily with all the news and gossip on jumpoff.tv. Please leave comments below or on slash newscast. If you have comments just for me, go to jumpoff.tv slash marembe. I'm Marembe Campbell and that was this week's newscast.
50 cent is going to lose the sound scan sales. I'm sorry, sound scan. After his European MTV, his recent big buddy of. Sorry. His big buddy. <laughs> After his European MTV Awards stage crossing, you'd have thought Kanye, yeah, crossing. <laughs> And let's face it, his recent, sorry, Kamel show, which followed, bleh, Kanye continued aggressively with, with it, bleh, sorry, the Gay and Lesbian Alliance against the path of, <laughs> October 17th is the beat, it be, bleh, no, sorry. <laughs> And said he was still debating whether or not he'd ever really, of a cameo, mm hmm. 2007, mm hmm. Just joining, like being too, like joining graduation, like not, sorry, making a bigger, the pause was too much between graduation and then. Against the affirmation issue. <laughs> <laughs>